Hi guys, and welcome to Letter of the Week Lunches. Today we're learning about the letter E. And E is for elephant. Do you want some peanuts, Mr. Elephant? <laughs> he said yes. For today's lunch, I'm gonna start by mixing up some egg salad. And I'm going to make this just how Lily prefers it. Just a little bit of mayo, a touch of mustard, and salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up well, and I wanna make sure that there aren't any big lumps of egg when I'm done. You know, it was actually pretty difficult to find foods that begin with the letter E that Lily would actually want to eat. So today's lunch is going to be a combination of foods that start with E and elephant-themed foods. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get my egg salad onto some regular bread, but then I'm gonna use a very special sandwich cutter for this lunch. It's a mama and baby elephant. I think it's so cute. And to make it extra fun, I'm gonna add a few little edible eyes. Next, I'm gonna throw in some edamame. Now this is an e-food that she actually likes, like really likes, she loves this stuff. I'm also gonna add some really cute carrots. I used my little elephant cutter to cut them out. And then sticking with the elephant theme, I'm gonna add some peanut snacks. Now, when I think of elephants, I automatically think of peanuts because I've been told that elephants really like peanuts. So I'm gonna add just a few of these puffed peanut snacks, followed by some elephant-shaped cheese. I have both cheddar and Havarti. For our fruit today, I'm gonna to throw in some watermelon. And then for our treat today, I wanted to add some of these circus animal cookies because I knew that there would be an elephant inside. But when I opened the bag, I could tell that these cookies don't really look like elephants at all. So I went with plan B. I went ahead and made my own elephant-shaped fairy bread. Now, if you've never heard of fairy bread, I actually have a separate video on what it is and how I make it. So I'll go ahead and link that below if you'd like to check it out. And lastly, I'm gonna throw in a few elephant picks just for fun. Now, before Lily digs into her lunch, I have a few really easy activities for her to do. The first one is to help her practice making the letter E, both uppercase and lowercase and she's gonna do this using some Play-Doh. It's simple and easy, but really fun. E. Next, we're gonna make this super easy elephant card. This could be turned into a birthday card or a thank you card. All you need for this is some construction paper, any color will do. And you can see I've already folded it into a card. You'll also need some latex balloons, any color will do. I got mine from the Dollar Tree. For our elephant's ears, you need to fold over a piece of paper and then cut a heart shape. And then we'll open that back up to create the ears. And you're also gonna want some googly eyes. To stick this together, you could use glue, but if you have glue dots, that's even better and faster. So Lily's gonna start by gluing the ears to the front of her card. Next, she's gonna glue down her balloon, followed by the googly eyes. And then when it's all dry, you can gently inflate the balloon to make it really look like an adorable elephant. It's time for lunch. Hey, <laughs> hey, See? 